thank, thank you for so much for joining us and and dropping in there. I'm just uh, I, I think I'm going to say uh, you know thank you so much for that. Also, Kiki and Nana, thank you for joining us today. You know, so it's great to see a lot of you know volunteers that have supported uh, you know our mission over the years. I think we're now driving towards. I think must be, is that the planetarium, Osby, or is what is that thing you're passing there? Yes, we're arriving at our next location, and we're okay. going to get out and go inside and and maybe place a sensor here, place a new air node here. Okay. Um, so, and I'll tell you about it as soon as we get out of the car shortly. Yeah. We're, we're going to queue up what a sun, maybe, are you literally you're arriving there. So why don't we stay on for a moment and, 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 and see that yeah. and maybe after five minutes. 10 minutes so, here and then maybe what a sun. Yeah. yeah, that's great. So why don't we go and, and, and hand it over back to you and, and I, if, if Stig and, and Kiki, we all can yeah. hang on and we can follow yeah. that together. And, and if we have a, and Stig, feel free to ask questions or, or comment on that. This is open. We're always open, as we say in safe cost. And by the way, if you're watching the, the yes, today's yeah. program, uh, if you you know visit the Safecast shop, you can buy T-shirts, you can buy pillows, you can buy hats, you can buy laptop covers, you can buy almost anything, and some of the proceeds of those sales go back to Safecast, so we can keep on doing what we're doing. Uh, if you feel more inspired and you want to really see us do way more, there is also a donation option or reach out to us if you want to collaborate with us we talk to mway and we have programs where we can work with, with with on projects and do things together and that's also very important to our existence so uh, reach out to us okay osby what is this yeah okay this is the ruins of the marine park it was a you know leisure facility right on the ocean front uh with a planetarium with you know entertainment with you know restaurant etc and it has been absolutely untouched uh, for 10 years. Uh, you know, you can just see the damage that the tsunami caused. And then there was a fair amount of other, um, you know, that are coming in here as well. And uh, it's open and here a couple times. Uh, I'm going to see the way to get to the second floor. <clears throat> uh, it's interesting because it's right next door to a. Um, a new, relatively recent uh, decontamination waste processing facility. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's kind of this very dystopian, uh, dystopian scene here. Um, and we don't know why it's just been left. And maybe it's too hard to knock down. Maybe there's well, someone's waiting for funding to do that or something. But it's, uh, it's a pretty um, sobering and awesome place. Uh, there is a stair to go up. I will go find it and uh, um, Asby, find I think window. your video has stopped. So uh, you really? can you switch to uh, Emmys or something? We, we can see yeah. Emo. Can you see the video? Yeah. yeah. I have to switch. Just keep on going. Emo's video is, is perfect. Just keep on talking. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, um, you know, it's just a kind of a, a ruin. And uh, I mean, this is the sort of thing that happens. Uh, places that get forgotten and uh, and left behind. So we'll go upstairs here. Um, so is this something people can visit or? Well, here's the thing. It's a gray area like many. There's no sign that says welcome, mm -hmm. but there's no sign that says keep out. Okay. Uh, so it's a bit, it's a bit weird in that regard, uh, mm -hmm. you know. Um, it feels like trespassing. Uh, it feels like, in some ways, a violation. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's uh, it's also can feel very compelled to come to this kind of place. Oh, well, this is the cafeteria, <laughs> and when we were here in December. This was still full of everything, the tables, the food left as it was in March. And now it's been cleaned up. Kind of amazing. So it got a bit of press. Other people, I suppose, maybe it was on television or broadcast and uh, people sort of decided, maybe someone decided they had to take care of it. Maybe it was a, a safety risk. So we're looking for a place to mount the sensor. <laughs> From here, you can see the ocean. 
Yeah. Very, very close by in the new tall <laughs> seawall. So, Joe, do you think you find a place to put a sensor? This door is locked, so I can't put it inside it. Uh huh. Uh, it's also got a lot of shade here. Yeah. Do you want to put it on the first floor? A little bit more vulnerable, but a little yeah. more accessible. So, June, is this your first time in here? Yeah, this is the first time for me. Yeah. Yeah, what do you think? It's very depressing. It's depressing. Yeah. It's something yeah, like the tears of the victims. Yeah. yeah. We don't know what happened here. Um, if people escaped, and this is a tall building, so people could get up to this floor. Yeah. Uh, and there's other cases in Tohoku where people did get to the third floor, fourth floor of a building and, and survived. Um, but it is a bit depressing. There's a room down this hallway. Uh, Joe, we can go see. Yes. Down to the right. I'm going to do the south facing places for place up there for the center. This one here. <clears throat> Glass is a bit broken, but uh, here is the decontamination waste. Wow. Wow. It's just... mm. yeah. And there's waste on the ground. Animals have been in here. The last time I came, there was a dead boar on the table, or not a boar, a tanuki on the table. Out this window, what they've been doing is uh, raising the ground several meters and planting thousands and thousands of trees as a buffer uh, in, against the next um, kind of uh, uh, tsunami or our next disaster. So you can see that happening here for several hundred meters from the, um, from the seawall uh, inlet. Maybe this will somehow become a place that's fun to come to again someday. So there is no plans of uh, demolishing this building or? Haven't heard. And uh, the people that we know, yeah. who would know, people who are associated with government, for instance, they say they don't know. Um, there's always some issue of ownership, jurisdiction, uh, who will pay for it, etc. Yeah, so anyway, I think Joe's finding a good place, uh, trying to find a south facing window to put the air quality sensor. I think that because it's right next to this waste processing facility, maybe it's a good location. Let's see where Joe went. Uh, did you find a place? Okay. First floor, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so I think we'll, we'll maybe go down to look again. But I'm very surprised that after having been left for 10 years, untouched that they cleaned up this cafeteria since right. December. <laughs> Yeah, we were here in December. It's on the German TV show. Oh, really? Yeah. So somebody came and took stuff out. They cleaned it up. Ooh. Who? <laughs> Who? Even the menu, the lunch menu, was still written on this little chalkboard. Wow. Inside the preparation area. Yeah, the kitchen is still the same as it was. Yeah. Pretty, pretty bad, but uh, yeah. So, okay, anyway, I think Joe's gonna find a place and uh, um, if you wanna if have something else to do while we're looking for the next, uh, while we're mounting the sensor, maybe I think can do that. Yeah, we're, we're going to uh, start a video by, uh, by Wada-san. Okay, should I yeah. introduce that? Yeah, if you could. Oh, you wanna introduce it? Or maybe Jin-san. Do you wanna introduce Wada-san? No, we're going to show the video. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe we go down to where it's more light. Yes. <laughs>